Welcome back. Time 611. As we were telling you before the break, big week for Council Bluff mm -hmm. City holding its annual CB days. And, and we got Ron back on the line with us here. Yeah, we want to check in with him now for what's in store for the week. Ron, good morning. Hey, good morning, Zach and Cerise. You know, as I was trying to say before, if you have not come to Council Bluff to check at things out here, this weekend might be the great a great time for you to do so. There are so many events planned here in town to celebrate CB days. Uh, the carnival, parade, the list goes on and on. There's even an, uh, one event where all you need to take part in it is your smartphone. It is, called, it is an app, and we'll get to that more in just a minute. But whether you call Council Bluffs home or not, Organizers say there's something for everyone here at CB Days. Events include a carnival, parade, a symphony performance, even a scavenger hunt. Lever, uh, Lindsay Rogers with the 712 Initiative shows us a little bit more on how it works. It's going to take you all around the city um, for kind of a cool little adventure. And each of the locations um, throughout the city are where, I'll give, I'm giving you a hint, it's where magical moments happen. So um, each spot you get, you get a badge on the app. And the more, um, the more spots you visit, the more locations that you visit, um, the more chances you have to win really cool prizes. Magical Moments is the theme of this year's CB Days celebrations. It kicked off officially back on Monday with the Mayor's Proclamation. And one more note here, you'll need an app if you want to take part in that scavenger hunt. And coming up in our next half hour, we'll tell you more about that and how you can get it on your phone. But for now, live in Council Bluffs this morning, Ron Johnson, 3 News Now.